So creating your own screencast on a Mac is actually a pretty easy thing to do. All you need to do is go up to your magnifying glass and type in Quick for QuickTime Player and launch the application. And in my case, it's opening up um, down here on the dock. I see the little QuickTime Player showing up. And so what I want to do is actually go up to File and hit New Screen Recording. A little black box opens up here. And in this black box, I need to check my audio settings by clicking on the triangle and just verifying that my microphone is actually checked. If yours is on none, make sure to put it on built in. And if you're using an iMac, double check that there's nothing sitting on top of your microphone. Your microphone is at the very, very top of your computer on um, the silver bar that runs across the very top. Um, you can leave the quality on higher medium. Um, and then if you're demonstrating something where you want to say to students or to your viewers, you know, click here, click there, you might want to um, put a check mark by show mouse clicks and what will happen is black circles actually show up around each of the areas where you're clicking in your recording. So once you have your checks kind of set the way that you want, all you need to do is click the record button and your computer will say, do you want to click the full screen or drag to re record part of the screen? Now in my case, I only want to um, record what's in my web browser window. So I'm just going to click up here in the upper left corner where the browser window starts and just drag across the screen and let go until the dotted lines are all the way around the web browser. Once they're set, I just hit start recording and my screen recording is actually occurring. Now you might be wondering, what about this black box that's here? Well, QuickTime is smart enough to know not to record itself. So this box is actually not showing up in the recording that's happening in the background. So instead, what I might do is, let's say I want to do a quick little demonstration on how um, you create your own map in Google Maps. So here I am in Google Maps. Um, I might say, oh, and you know, when you want to create your own Google Maps, you first have to click on My Places. And then once that starts, you can create a new map by clicking on the Create button and put in a title. So you get the sense. You can actually walk the student through the actual thing that's happening. And so you can do this whether it's for a web tool or for a piece of software that you're trying to show. So once you kind of have your um, recording all set up the way that you want it and you're done with it, in QuickTime you just hit the stop button and your video will be finished and a little video kind of pops up. So this video is on your computer, but you probably want to post it somewhere so that people can actually see it. So to do that, all you need to do is go up to the top of your screen and look for share. When you click on share, hit YouTube and type in your username and your password and hit sign in. And you have to give your video a name, so I'll call this a test maps recording. And I'll put in test just for my words here for a description and a tags. And then finally, um, you can put a check mark here whether you want to make this a personal movie or not. And all personal movie means is that it's going to be sort of saved only for you. And then when you log into your YouTube account, you can adjust it if you want and uh, make it viewable to the public. Um, the last part that I kind of skipped over too is that you can change your category. So I'm just going to put mine in education and hit next and hit share. And a little, video, little window pops up showing me the actual export progress. And depending on the length of your movie, this can be a, a, quick, a pretty quick process, anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple minutes. And so it will actually process the video. And then eventually when this video is processed, what you'll see is um, a little URL for your, uh, your video being ready to view. So um, while this is actually processing, I'm going to actually pause my screen recording for a second, and I'll be back. So it took a couple seconds, but actually now I have the link to my test maps recording showing up here in the export progress bar. So I'm going to click on the link, and this takes me to the YouTube page. And if you come to your YouTube page, if your video was short, it might what automatically show up. Box? Like actually mine is already showing up here. If your video is long, it may say that it, it's still processing. That's okay, don't worry about it. Um, but what I want to do first is right now it shows that my video is private. So I probably want to set it up so that other people can see it. So to do that, I just click on the edit button. And when this opens up, if I scroll down, I can do some things like change the title, change its descriptions, add some tags. The other thing I can do is in my privacy settings, I can adjust my video to public, which means anyone can find it, or maybe just unlisted, which means that if you have the link, you can get to it. And since most of my videos end up on my web page, I just leave mine at unlisted. The other thing that you can do is in advanced settings, 
you can um, turn off comments and voting and ratings and video responses if you have some concerns about you know comments that people might leave or you just don't want to deal with moderating them or anything you can actually just uncheck those and they go away the last thing though that you need to do is hit save changes oops save changes and now your video will be all set up and if you click view on video page you'll okay. see your actual recording box? and you can see down here at the box just uh, in the orange box just below the video it says that it's unlisted and only those with a link can see it which is exactly what I want so that's just a quick tutorial for making your own little screencast um, if you want to do that for your students let me know if you have any questions have a great day